Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to The Prime. My name is Phil Farrell and this week I'm going to help you develop a quicker pull-up jumper. As you climb into higher levels of play, you're going to start to realize you have less time and less space to get shots off. So now is the perfect time to start to develop a quicker pull-up jumper. A lot of times I go to the gym and I see athletes training their mid-range pull-up starting from behind the three-point line. The main difference today is that we're actually going to be training inside the three-point line. Now let's get to the three points of emphasis before we get to repping it out. The first point of emphasis is going to be pound the basketball. The main focus here as you're pounding the basketball is I want you to pound it right up into your shooting pocket on every rep. The second point of emphasis is going to be footwork. Now, if you're dribbling with your right hand, the correct footwork is going to be a pound left right. As you're dribbling with your left hand, it's going to be a pound right left. Now, the third point of emphasis is going to be hold your follow through. This is going to start to lock in the muscle memory that you need to make more shots. Now, let's see some reps. Hey guys, thanks for coming to work out with me this week. You can add these 50 shots into any shooting workout. And the goal for a mid-range pull-up like this is gonna stay right around 70%. So at each spot, you're gonna wanna try to knock down seven out of 10. And just remember, you don't rise to the occasion, you sink to the level of your training. I hope this served and I'll see you next time. Sellers will inbound. Sellers has Jordan. Jordan with two seconds to go. Puts it up and scores at the buzzer. Michael Jordan has won it for Chicago. The inbounds pass comes into Jordan. Here's Michael at the foul line. A shot on Elo. Good! The 